Welcome back to Let's Read Judge Dredd. Today's episode is called, And the Wind Cried. And we've got another double panel, so just we'll check out the other page. 200 million people lived here once. 200 million. I can hardly comprehend the number. How much happiness does that represent? How many tears? How much zest for life? The ghosts. That's the weird thing. If, they, if ghosts really do exist, you'd expect the slaughter of 200 million people to produce quite a few. So how come there's only... I don't know how often the city sends its patrols. Time has no meaning for me. I don't know how many days or years or centuries it's been. I call them every time I call them, but ghosts have no voices, and the judges never hear. Well, did, did you hear that, Dredd? Nah, what? Like a voice on the wind, cry for help. Anderson, this entire area was saturation noted by the souls. Yeah, I know. It'll be a century before anything more complex than a rad bug can live here. All the same, that's why the department sends out patrols just in case. You better check it. Life and death, that's all there is. That and the razor-thin walkway that snakes deceptively between the, them, the knife edge where ghosts walk. Ghosts and vegetables. Hello, Cosmo, darling. How are you today? Feeling better? Oh, yes, you're looking... He Heaps better than yesterday. I wouldn't be uh, at all surprised if you were up and about by the end of the week. Miss Howard, Mary. It's really time you stop deluding yourself. It's been three months now since the accident. You, may, you must face up to it. Cosmo's coma is too deep. He's never going to come around. His brain is virtually dead. His l heart, lungs, and kidneys, they no longer function. Only the machines are keeping him alive. What, what are you saying? That I should let him, let you switch him off? No, we're in love. We're going to be married just as soon as he's himself again. I'll never desert him, never. Ow! Bless my circuits, the nuclear alert. We're under attack. Head for the shelters. That wasn't going anywhere. I love you, Cosmo. I'll never leave you. If we couldn't live together, we could die together. I'll never leave you. Only it hadn't worked out that way. We didn't die together. Yeah, there's some sort of sigh effect here. It's faint, though, very faint. And I became a ghost. Is this really necessary? Rudd, you may be getting old, Joe. And Cosmo? Time was you'd have leapt at the chance of crawling through radioactive rubble in the slim hope of finding a pup to arrest or a muty to blast. Cosmo never died at all. Holy Joe Drock, he's alive! Life support machine has its own self-contained nuclear batteries. Guess they just carried right on functioning. I swore I'd never leave him. And I, I didn't. The only ghost that was left in town. You can't take him back. 
It's been eight years since the Apocalypse War. He's riddled with bone-deep radiation. And now it's going to be all right. Not often a judge gets to be merciful. Everything's going to be all right. Click. Did you hear that, Dread? Drock, not more voices in the wind. It's okay. I think they're saying thanks. The end. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you'll join us again next time.